it's caught in the crossfire. It's caught in the What's up, everybody? We hope you enjoyed our little Vegas vacation vlogs there that we have for you. Today, we are in Richmond, Virginia, Virginia's capital once again. Uh, we're here for the weekend. We're gonna show you guys some other cool stuff we got here. We have a little uh, cool little spot here called Rosie Connolly's. It's a very old, not very old, but you know, it's an old spot, nice original building. Like, look at this thing. Kind of cool looking. We're gonna go in here and see what they got. And the most expensive one is the loaded curry fries for $13. Curry fries, it's, a, it's quite a little treat. And then I got the Magnus. It's a nice little, huh? Well, it's a little pint glass brand of Guinness. So the actual menu is uh, pretty, pretty small, simple. Not always bad. Prices range from, looks like $10.95 all the way up to $15. So, not too expensive. Bangers and mash, fish and chips, burgers, fish sandwich, you know, stuff like that. I think I'm probably going to go ahead and just get the regular old fish and chips. Tried and true. Not sure what the little lady's looking at. Bangers and mash. That'd be probably good with sauteed mushrooms and onions. That sounds like sounds pretty good. Uh, all sandwiches are sold handcuffed fries or sub onion rings for two dollars. So if you like onion rings, you can get that for two bucks. They also have some lunch specials uh, on Sunday, uh, open at 12 p.m. Their lunch specials range from it looks like $8.95 all the way up to $14.95 for the fish and chips. So you want to come in for lunch? It's actually pretty close. It's like almost central to the Richmond. Yeah, and there's, a, and there's a parking lot right behind that you can pay. Uh, first hour is free, next hour is like a dollar, so fairly cheap. You can get, uh, get that there. So, according to the story of Rosie O'Connelly's, uh, or not O'Connelly's, excuse me, Rosie Connelly's, she was a lady who was from Limerick, I believe, from Ireland. And uh, she wanted to open up, and she wanted to come over to America and open up an Irish pub. She never made it, she passed away before she could do it, so her grandson. And they picked up the torch and came over and opened up Rosie Connolly's. You guys ever been to an Irish pub before? Tell us your favorite one down below. Maybe we'll make it there one day. Anyway, anywhere you're watching, I don't care. Anywhere in the world. If you're in Italy watching, tell us if you've been to an Irish pub in somewhere. Tell us. Maybe we'll make it there. Yum. Get you some more soda. Or... I'll also take a pint of the black stuff as well. The black stuff. Yes. Sausage rolls. Check that out. Get out of there. There you go. Nice little sausage roll. There. Nice little helping of sausage there. Now I got this plate right here. Try the try the gravy. Soft pastry. Quite a bit of sausage in there. She says that it's spicy. I don't taste any spice in it. 
Gravy's pretty good. It's a pretty good little snack. Like you're coming in here drinking. You know, you want something a little, a little bit greasy. Pretty good. I would, I'd recommend grabbing these. I think that might be what he's this time. Yeah. I don't know if you can see that little clover on the top there. Little shine rock. Put it up to the camera. I did. I was like literally right there. But you won't be able to see it. Nice. Thank you, ma'am. Yep, I think so. All right. The mains have arrived. The fish and chips. Nice big old piece of fish. It's steaming too. Seems nice and crispy. Let's see. These do look like hand cut fries, like they said. Ooh, man, that was good, actually. No, I know, pretty good. I would, I'd definitely come here again. Especially if like maybe we caught like an Uber from a hotel and wanted to come here and just drink. It seems like a very nice, you know, place to sit and have some more drinks. Very comfy and cozy looking. You know, sort of like a real Irish pub. If you've ever been there. Uh, we're going to get the bill and I'm going to let you know exactly how much all this costs. So stay tuned for that one. Alright, so for the... Uh, Actually, the Guinness draft was really cheap. Really cheap. That's the cheapest thing I've ever seen Guinness for. Why is it 404? Yeah, no, that's kind of weird. <laughs> but, uh, so for the Guinness, the um, the Magners, which they only charge you for one. Oh, one for five. Guinness Magners, sausage roll, fish and chips, beggars and mash, $55.56. Plus so, the four tax. That's 7%. Then, yeah. That, yeah. So it's 38. Yeah. So it's 38. Oh yeah, it was thirty-eight eighty-five for tax. So, oh no, 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 it's not. The bar total and the food total. Oh, okay. So forty-eight, forty-eight ninety-five. Okay. So six dollars tax. Okay. Yeah, so fifty-six, fifty, fifty-five, fifty-six for uh, for all that. A little night out, a couple drinks. Not too bad. Come check them out. Uh, Fifteen forty-eight East Main Street, parking lot right in the back there. But we're going to go ahead and settle up here, pay the check, and then she's going to finish her drink, and then we're going to get out of here. So, appreciate you guys coming with us. Make sure to like, share, subscribe, and as always, tripping ain't easy, but the show is fun.